If we hurry, we could be home by tomorrow morning. We'll be heroes. Welcome to the Infernal Brotherhood's Willow series. Today, we're going to answer the question, who is Migosh? We'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel for more Willow content and like and share the video. This information is taken from the Willow source book by Alan Varney. Migosh is Willow's best friend. Like all Nelwins, he dreams of adventure until he finds himself in one. Then he dreams of home. <laughs> when no one would volunteer to join Willow as he delivered Alora Dannon to the Daikini Crossroads, save for Von Carr, who, which Burgle Cut quickly rescinded, it was good old Migosh that rose to the task. He couldn't very well leave his best friend to face the dangers of the outside world alone, could he? When the High Aldwin pronounced Burgle Cut the party's leader, and Von Carr was back on the team, Migosh felt much better. Of course, when Burgle Cut left with the village warriors, and Willow and he left the baby with Mad Mardigan, it didn't seem to be the best idea. They found themselves with no other choice than promptly found themselves chasing the stolen baby into Sherlindria's forest and were captured by brownies. Migosh was sure things could not get any worse. That is, until Sherlindria tasked Willow with the baby's protection and sent Migosh home. Unsure about abandoning his friend, Sherlindria caressed his cheek and said, Think more highly of yourself, little one. You may be needed at your village, and your own task is great. You must cross dangerous wilderness without your warrior friends to protect you. Feeling no better about the trek back home, he was approached by two brownies who had been tasked with his protection, a rotund brownie named Kunkley and a stringy brownie named Witterwell. Migosh asked if they had any magic at their disposal in case they ran into any trouble, and Witterwell replied that they had only their bow and some fairy dust. This did not alleviate Migosh's concerns, but with no alternative, he said his goodbyes to Willow and began the long journey home. It wasn't long before Migosh was daydreaming about home and nearly walked up into a grizzly bear. He was terrified, and Kunkley was suddenly nowhere to be found. But Witterwell, perched on Migosh's shoulder, calmly reached for his bag of fairy dust, and when the bear approached them, he threw the dust into the bear's nose and shouted, SCAT! Migosh was frozen stiff from fright. Kunkley returned promptly, saying the bear was lucky that he wasn't there, and the bear, rather than running away, fell into a magical sleep. <laughs> Crisis averted, they returned on their journey, and just outside of the village, Migosh ran across an old mine with a rotted wood cover. He also spotted one of Queen Bavmorda's death dogs. It was moving away from him toward the village. Unsure if the village warriors were back, Migosh marshaled his courage, stuffed the brownies into his tunic, which he removed and shaped into a small sack. He shouted to the death dog that he had the baby right here, waving the sack around. The brownies gave muffled cries from within. The death dog charged, and as it leapt onto the rotten cover of the mine, the cover broke and the death dog plummeted to its death. Migosh was so thrilled that his plan had worked, he called out this tune. 20, 40, 60 yards, miners dig for copper bars. When the bars have all been mined, only shadows stay behind. Aru, aru, aru. <laughs> he told the brownies he was able to continue on his own, and they left in a huff, not appreciating being stuffed in a sack without warning. Migosh fulfilled Sherlindria's prophecy of the village needing him and found that, with a little preparation, maybe a little adventure was okay. <laughs> and that is all the time I have to talk about Migosh. Thank you for spending time with us. We'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and feel free to click the like button and share this video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerf herders, may the Force be with you. You really think so? Sure. Look, there's Willow and Migosh. The heroes have come home. Welcome back, boys. You deserve medals. Yeah, yeah. medals. Yeah. <laughs>